What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from MachineHunter.com doing a This Is. Today we're doing This Is Spec Ops The Line. Yes, we are. This is the new game from 2K that just came out. And, uh, yeah, this game is, uh, you and I have some history with this game, Jeff. Yeah, well, we we dated back in college. <laughs> it didn't work out. Talking about the game or you and I, because I don't think I knew about it. Anyway, uh, no, you and I saw this at E3, what, about two years ago? Yeah, it was. And, uh, uh, we saw a demo a couple years ago, and, yeah, and we it was were very excited about it. Yeah, it was one of those things we sat down and was like, what is this game? And then they showed us like showed us this demo of uh, where in the, they're in Dubai, and it's like this crazy sandstorm. And I was like, what the hell? This is this looks yeah, really cool, like actually. A, I, I, I guess the term post-apocalyptic doesn't really apply, but like a, a uh, dystopian future, uh, rather, where a giant sandstorm buries the entire city of Dubai. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, in sand. <laughs> in sand. <laughs> and uh, lots of featured, or lots of landmarks from uh, Dubai are in there, like the, the the Burj Dubai, right, is in there. Yeah. And a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Like, if you've seen Mission Impossible 4, you might recognize some stuff, I guess, from this this <laughs> game. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is a third-person shooter, and um, it looks really cool. Like, I like the idea that you've seen a lot of shooters that sort of have that brown and yellow sort of, like, color palette or whatever, mm -hmm. but it actually works Earth in tones. this game. Yeah, yeah it but does. it works in this game because everything is covered in sand. And yeah, like, they, and they do some cool environmental tricks, too. Uh, they don't overdo it, which I like, but they don't underdo it. They hit the sweet spot yeah. where you'll be like, I could shoot this dude, or I could just shoot the window behind him and bury him in sand. You know? <laughs> a lot of, like, a, like fucking people with the environment. Yeah, well, that's, there's actually some achievements tied to that. So oh, are we'll there? Get those. Speaking of achievements, I let's go ahead that. and get this one. You know what you were saying about the, uh, the sand thing? So, situational awareness for 20 gamer score stun an enemy by dumping sand on their head. Oh, I probably have that achievement, and I didn't realize it. I think you may have gotten that achievement while I was looking through these. I was, I was seeing if you had them or not. But anyway, let's go on to Applied Force. 20 gamer score. Hit 10 enemies with the with your melee attack. Oh, shit, I gotta do that. And I picked this one mainly because the icon is really cool. It's a guy getting punched in the face. Kind of looks like uh, that, Pan, that Pantera album. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, what, unnecessary use of force or something. Whatever. Sure, whatever. Anyway, that old Unnecessary band. redneck, big McRedneck song. That thing. one. Redneck McRedneck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, that's Irish, actually. All right, Close Combat Carnage for 20 gamer score. Kill four enemies with a shotgun in ten seconds or less. Huh. Have you had a chance to do that yet? I have not. I've never even picked up a shotgun. You haven't picked up a shotgun? No, oh. I, I you know, I'm not it a big shotgun guy. Well, it seems like this game has a lot of like close quarter combat and then also a bunch of open space combat, I'm too. on the sniping level right now. Oh, are you? Yeah. Is it pretty cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Sweet. All right, but I, I, I'm, I'm more I, of a close combat guy myself. Are like, you really? Well, because I'm terrible. I'm like I'm terrible at aiming. So <laughs> yeah, when it's like you're not good with guns. No, not really. So like shotgun, give me a shotgun in close quarters, and I can I can usually hurt someone. I'll hit someone in the foot or something. <laughs> All right, in your face, twenty gamer score. Kick an enemy by vaulting over a cover. Uh, never done that either. Yeah, did you know you could do that? I did not know I could do that. You should probably do that. I'm gonna try it. Twenty gamer score, and it's for one thing. So you Fuck should. Yeah. Next time you get that, you should just jump in and grab it. All right, preventative. Or no, preventive diplomacy. Hey, Twenty yeah. gamer score. Kill an enemy just as they are throwing a grenade. I so, do have that. Yeah, yeah I, I saw you. That, that was the last one you got before I started putting this thing together. Oh. So, very happy to see that. So yeah, this is you. Uh, I guess this would be like sacking a quarterback. Like you take him <laughs> down just before he gets out of his hand, and then blow him up, right? Yeah, it's called the Thiesman. <laughs> the Thiesman. <laughs> I mean, uh, anyway, uh, uh, sorry, I was thinking Heisman for some reason. But no, no, Joe Theismann, Joe Theismann is what yeah. you're going for. All you can be for 20 gamer score: complete any chapter with 60% accuracy without dying or reloading a checkpoint. <sighs> that is a that's a cool achievement. Yeah, that's a pretty cool achievement. Like, I will probably never get this achievement because I'm terrible with a gun. But yeah, I like uh, that, I like that they you know are forcing you to actually like you know be careful with your gun. You can't just spray everywhere. Well, I I will say that uh, in the first level, I ran out of ammo in about 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good. So. Yeah, they definitely want you to like pick your targets and uh, you use uh, your ammo wisely. Be conservative. Yeah. I wonder if he fires one bullet and just melee everybody. Like fire one <laughs> bullet and you hit could. and just run around melee everyone. If you get that close. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's move on. So we have some uh, collectibles in the game. There are recon or there are intel items scattered throughout the game, and there are three achievements tied to them. First is spotter for ten gamer score recover one intel item. Then moving on from there, we have recon for twenty five gamer score recover twelve intel items, and then. Intel Operative for 50 gamer score recover all Intel items, and that's one of three 50 gamer score achievements we'll look at. Nice. And so, yeah, so I think we're going to be doing guys showing off all the Intel items if, in the game. If by we you mean Ray. Yes. Ray. Well, yeah, obviously is what I meant. But yeah. uh, like in the game, do you, are there are there like a place where you can check to see if you have Intel? Yeah, on level? pause screen tells so, you how many there are per level. Oh, that's cool. That's that's have. super convenient. Yeah, it is. Awesome. All right, I like that. All right, moving on. Sierra Hotel for 50 gamer score complete three chapters in a row without being killed or reloading a checkpoint. 
You almost got this, right? I did. I did. <laughs> but then you blew yourself up. <laughs> and I blew myself up <laughs> with a grenade. Uh, I don't think that's going to... I mean, that might be a slightly challenging, but there's an easy Shut difficulty. And yeah. you could probably knock it out. The first three levels knock it out. They're, those levels are pretty short in this game. Too, yeah. So that's cool. But I like that like, you know, requires you to actually do pretty good. Yeah, games, absolutely. So. All right. And MFWIC for 50 gamer score, complete game on FUBAR difficulty, which is like their nightmare or insanity or whatever you want to call their hardest difficulty. Is that selectable right from the beginning? Uh, no, you gotta beat the hard difficulty to unlock it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what does MFWIC stand for? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I assume it's a reference to Tango and Cash in some way. My friend with infant children? Yes. That's what it is, there clearly, for 50 gamer score. Anyway, so uh, those are all the achievements we're going to look at today in Spec Ops Online. And pick this game up because it actually looks pretty fun. It's a third-person, you know, shooter. and plays plays like it's more like a – it's kind of like a faster-paced Gears. Like, uh, like imagine if Gears and um, Ghost Recon had a baby. Ooh. Yeah. And then that would be a very that, ugly baby. That baby was a lot of fun to play. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right, man. Well, uh, we're going to grab this. There's co-op in the game, too, right? Yeah, you can download co-op missions. Sweet. So we'll have to check that out Definitely. as well. But anyway, check at Chibahunter.com for a bunch of guides and information and stuff, and we will get back to the game. Love you.